Hi guys, it's Gunnar, RSN Dragon Seance, and I know a lot of you guys have been waiting a while for this video, so let's just get into it. Okay, so something a lot of people have heard about but they don't really understand is Auras via the loyalty program. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through how I think Auras are coded and how they can impact gameplay. Um, first and foremost, about Auras, if you don't already know, uh, skilling Auras are what I will be discussing. Uh, they come in four tiers, which grant three, five, seven, and an unreleased fourth tier, which is confirmed by ModMark, which I'll put the uh, QFC in the description. Uh, they can be used for the skills mining, fishing, woodcutting, thieving, hunter, and agility. Um, I'm going to assume for simplicity's sake that this unreleased fourth tier will grant 10% uh, increased resource gathering due to the fact that it's going to be extremely high cost. And we'll just go from there. Uh, so first, how do I think auras work? Okay, so the way I think auras work is like this. If we look at rock tail fishing, Currently, with no aura, the average amount of rock tail one catches per hour is 110, okay? If, if you have 1,200 fishing ticks per hour, because it takes uh, five game ticks per fishing tick, this gives you a success rate of point, point oh nine one six 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 repeating, which is 9%. So if a tier 4 aura gives 10%, that's going to increase this, like that, okay? So that's going to give an overall success rate of almost 20%, okay? So you may ask, why do I think that it works this way? And the reason I think it works this way is because, one, the established rate of rock tail uh, without an aura is pretty much certain. Now, with a T1 aura, um, I've tested with my clan over, uh, over 50 hours now, and this is what we've gotten so far. Uh, the average XP was around 55,600 before earns. Now, earns, the way they work for fishing is they're 20% of experience. So you get whatever experience you would get without the earns, and you multiply that by 1.2 plus your granite lobster to figure out how much XP you'll get per hour. So at T0, we'll say, T0 is what we did before. You get 380 times 110 successes, which is uh, 41,800. Now this, multiplied by 1.2, gives us 50,160. Okay. Now, if you add the 200 for granite lobster, you get a grand total of 50,360 as the experience you can get for fishing rocktail. Okay. So at T1, this is what we've experienced: a total of 55,480 experience before applying the earn bonus, which gives us 66,576. Fishing XP plus 200 gives us uh, 66,776 experience. Okay, so this is how I think auras work. I believe they add to the base percentage catch rate um, or resource gathering rate for things like mining, etc. Um, so basically, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to clear this and I'm going to go through the most popular ways to train. Uh, the resource skills that were as effect.
That was pretty fast, right? Um, so I'm just going to go through each of these methods and say what the XP was before ORAs are applied and what I think it's going to be after. Um, and then I'm going to discuss maybe some of the ORAs that might be worth it alternatively. Um, so first, fishing. Uh, C2 fishing is obviously unaffected. You cannot bring ORAs into Damonheim. Uh, it bases at 111,628 XP as a maximum average. What that means is with the average number of fishing spots per dungeon, this is how much XP you'll get. The theoretical maximum is around 139,000. That's if you got the maximum fishing spots you could possibly get. Um, so it's 111,628 with a little bit of combat XP, um, but that's pretty negligible. Uh, barbarian fishing, which was about 99,088 XP prior to Auras, jumps up to about 116,632 once one adjusts for uh, agility, which is valued at 72k an hour, and strength, which is valued at 200k an hour, post uh, the Dominion Tower update. Now, these updates are 0 and 17.7%, but where Auras really shine are on resources with a low percentage success rate, such as Rocktail. Rocktail goes from 50,360 XP with no aura to 105,080 XP with the highest aura, which is tier 4. So now, I wrote that wrong. It's actually, let's see, it's actually a 108% jump in success rate. So that's definitely the star of the auras right now for T4 is Call of the Sea, which is the fishing aura. Um, for Hunter, if we look at this, Draconics, which the average maximum was about 288,750, jump up to 346,500, which is a 20% increase. And Zamorak jump up 33%, but they're still nowhere near. They're at 264,000, but you might want to use it to help gather those spines, um, you know, to make your Zamorak favorite potions. Black Warlocks are unaffected, from what I can tell, by the T T1 Tracker Aura. So I'm going to assume they're unaffected by all of them, and they max out at about 219,000 XP. Um, and that's very, very hard to do because you have to land on another spawn when you catch the butterfly. Um, now, if we look at wood cutting, obviously something a lot of people like to do is ivy. Now, ivy is about 82,000 XP average, okay? Um, I did not apply Lumberjack to either of these. I'm applying Ceteris Paribus, keeping all else equal. Uh, but the maximum you can get with woodcutting in tier 4 is about 122,940. Now that's without applying the Lumberjack uh, set, but as you can see, it's definitely one of the better auras. Sawmill, unaffected, you're not collecting a resource, you're doing tasks, maxes out at about 111,240 XP. And Arctic Pines, which are affected by the aura, you can max out at about 157,248 woodcutting experience over the max rate right now about 131,040. That's the average maximum uh, over time. Uh, Pyramid Plunder, from what I can tell, is affected. Um, and thanks to Gemios 2, he has gone. I got the rates for room 7 and 8 in Pyramid Plunder. Um, and by that, I was able to figure out that the maximum XP right now is about 300,600. And from that, I was, I cogitated a bit and figured out that a T4 aura could net around 334,000 thieving XP per hour, which is an 11% increase. And believe it or not, this is actually not the best thieving XP with aura. With no black ibis, dwarf traders with the aura are about 335,000 XP per hour with a T4 aura. With the black ibis, they jump up to about 351,767 thieving XP per hour. And compared with Pyramid Plunder, it's about 17k greater. I didn't include Monkey Knife Fighters, but due to the fact that uh, they are affected, um, however, granted that, there's a theoretical maximum for Knife Fighters that is easily attainable. That is, you knock them out once, you pickpocket twice. And the experience rate for that is all right in real quick. The maximum experience for that is about 288,000 thieving XP per hour. Um, so as you can see, dwarf traders, which are very low success rate, jump up a huge amount from 
with plaque itis, 226,181 leaving XP per hour to 351,767 XP per hour. Um, lastly, I, I wasn't even going to include this because of the aura and how it works. However, my concentrated gold, which is 95,600 experience per hour right now, with a T4 aura it jumps up about 15% to 110,085 XP per hour. Now that's probably the last aura you would want to buy. You probably want to save your loyalty points for other things. But looking at what we have here, Call of the Sea, Master Lumberjack, or Grand Master Lumberjack, whatever the T4 is going to be called, uh, those are the most valuable. Okay? And Hunter and Thieving, also good. Mining, not so good but it could become much better in the future with a low percentage success rate or coming out. Uh, they, they have from 86 to 99, so they might come out with something. Um, I just want to cover a few things before I let you guys go. Uh, there's some other auras that you may be looking at. I know some people are money challenged in RuneScape. And to help, there's an aura called Green Fingers. What Green Fingers does, it increases your uh, herb yield from patches, and it also keeps them from becoming diseased. Now, if you were to have T4 green fingers, and you were to use it from 85 to 99 farming, exclusively farming Torstool, you would net yourself another 167,764,087 GP. Um, now, that may sound like a lot, but look at this. If you were to farm from 85, and this is going to take you 19,500 trips, by the way, if you were to farm from 85 to 200 million XP, you would net yourself another 3,366,041,347 GP. Now that is kind of unrealistic because I don't know anybody that's done herbs all the way to 200 mil because I don't think it's possible. It takes around six years um, for that. Uh, but it's, it's a possibility. You make more money with it. People that like to farm herbs doing it already, you might want to look into green fingers. Um, and also there's the sure-footed ore, which is currently absolutely useless to people with 99 agility because you stop failing all the courses at 94 or lower. However, um, if, if Jagex were to implement something that was a very high agility requirement with a high success rate, let's say something in Perfrindos that was a 50% success rate and it was 150,000 agility XP per hour. Now this is a stretch. But if it was a 50% success rate and it took 36 seconds to complete whatever task it was, and you were to use a T4 sure-footed aura, you'd get an extra 30,000 XP per hour. It would go from 150k to 180k. Um, now that's a 20% increase, with, which for agility is fantastic. So what you're going to see with all these auras is that you don't want to do one skill at once. You want to jump around skills, do things that auras uh, don't affect, and then go back, do an hour of the aura skill, go and do another skill for three hours, come back and do, you know, one of these. Um, so that's how I think the game is shifting. Everybody's going to be using auras in a year's time, at least most of the high-level players that have been around for a while will be. Um, and they'll be cycling through them. Like, you may have four auras that you just cycle through continuously. Uh, other auras, rune accuracy, vampirism, the combat auras, knockout, etc., if you boss a lot, they may be for you, but if you're looking for the maximum XP gains possible, they're not going to be for you. You're better off spending your loyalty points on a scaling aura. And uh, with that, I'll let you guys go. I should have another video out early next week, probably another vlog. But if you guys have any questions, make sure to let me know. Um, my writing's kind of terrible, so I'll put the map in the description as well. Um, yeah, so I'll talk to you guys next week. Happy scaping.